The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Cucumbers, glitter bombs, jade eggs, yogurt, even marijuana. What do these items have in common? Any guesses? They've all been used as remedies for problems down there. <laughs> and now, get this, there are two more brand new bizarre remedies that are going viral, and that's why we're here to tell you, don't put that down there. Yeah. The latest all natural craze that women are buzzing about online is, get this, putting wasp nests in their vagina. Ground wasp nests. What? They're called oak galls? Gal what the heck? What? Why? Uh we even have to have a segment oh, about this is amazing oh, to me, Dr. Nita. I mean, it how be. often do you get this? These patients come and ask you, can I put this down here? Hopefully I mean, never. Is that often? Uh, no, but nobody has asked me about this particular one. This is the powder they're putting down there. I mean, yeah. Nita, it sounds like they're, they're calling it the cure-all. Vaginal the tightening, reduced discharge, no itching. You sound like I'm, an infomercial. Well, I... I <laughs> no, I'm here. No, put, so, put, that, put that next to Drew. Put that down there. there yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, of course, we're laughing, but we don't have evidence to support the use of this. We don't even know if this stuff is safe. So reduce vaginal discharge, it might actually do that. There's something in there that may reduce vaginal discharge. However, if you have a lot of vaginal discharge, it could mean you have an infection and you really don't want to mask that. Furthermore, you can continue to decrease your vaginal discharge so much that you end up with a dry vagina. And everybody knows that a dry vagina does not make for good sex. And also, you can have an increased risk of abrasions. I don't know what's happening oh. down there. Abrasions, small tears, and things like that. It says that it's going to remove unpleasant odors, but it messes up your pH, so it can actually increase the risk of infections. Last but not least, it's going to make your vagina tight. No, it's just not. And so, some well, good old this. Why, why is there the claim that it will reduce it's like it's What is it, What is like in this it's stuff? Not, it, it's like it's a, like, was it's testing like, out the smell It's like a seasoning. The smell factor. Seasoning. It does not <laughs> smell. It. Is this actually it? Yes. How is it? It's not bad. It is earthy. Earthy. I mean, it, it, do people want right, the vaginas to smell earthy? Safe to no, say. Want, safe to I, say. It, you're don't put toast. that down there, right? Don't put that yes. down there. But wait, where did this even come from in the first place? I mean, were there just some really questionable studies and somebody just started to talk about it? Yeah, and you know how sometimes overseas people do things a little differently. Mm -hmm. They don't really, we really like science-based stuff here and we have access yes. to really good medications. So we don't have to experiment with stuff like that. You got some vaginal discharge, I can help you out. We don't have to go this route. All right, Dr. Nita, we've been through this. You've said it. You don't have to feed your vagina, right? You don't? Step number one. <laughs> Not so hungry. Put, don't put it, Not don't hungry. put it, don't put anything edible down there. Number two, <laughs> we've now gone to the second phase of your vaginal commandments. You don't need to give it extra help with that.